Microsoft Power Platform absolutely revolutionizes business processes and today we are going to take a look at its core components. My name is Mary Myers and I'm obsessed with helping you maximize your dynamic system with the Power Platform. Before we get started, make sure you go ahead and like and save this video and channel so that you can stay tuned for more Power Platform tips and tricks. The first part of the Power Platform that we're going to take a look at here is Power BI. Power BI is what I like to refer to as the gateway to the Power Platform. It's a real, let's go ahead and take a look. Right now I'm in the web browser base. There's a web base and there's a desktop base. You will need both of them to create really rich reports. You can do your heavier data modeling inside of the desktop version, but then you can really create better graphs and images, and you can create better graphs and dashboards and KPIs inside of the web-based browser here. You can see what's really great about Power BI is that it allows us to bring data from multiple sources together in one place, model it all, and then create um, KPIs and graphs off of that. Where you have to do some Excel gymnastics and kind of combine all that together, and then your reports aren't really repeatable. Here in Power BI, you can see that I also have access to my one link data. I also have different apps and metrics, so I can have I can really have a deep understanding of what my data modeling is here. And take a look at here is going to be Power Apps. Power Apps are a great way to create custom solutions for your business applications and being able to take your data, whether that data and easily create applications that your users will use on either their cell phone, their computer, or a tablet to really be able to interact with that data without having to go through a formal custom app development, which often takes a really, really long time and can also be really expensive. Also are nice and secure, so you can put security on who can access your apps and who can't because you're going to have live access to the data inside your system as well. So there's a great way to be able to maintain the security in that. Here in Power Apps, it's really great. You can see again, it's super easy. You're going to be used to this nice same UI throughout the Microsoft Power Platform ecosystem. And here I am on this create page. You can create one from blank. Now in Power Apps, you're going to have a model-driven app. So if you've worked with D365 sales or anything in that CRM module, that is a model-driven app, right? That is Dataverse. And back if we were to go over the history of it, that's where kind of some of this all started. But so you can you can have a Dataverse, which is going to be a model driven app, and those can only have Dataverse as the backbone of it or the data source. And then you're also going to have Canvas driven. I'm sorry, Canvas apps, which allow you a lot more flexibility, allows you to really kind of create custom solutions and you can use any data source for a Canvas app as well. So here you can see that we can get started from a blank. We can also get started with Dataverse. SharePoint, Excel, these are just some of the top um, data sources that you can get started with. I can also put a, I can create a picture, right? So I can draw a picture and do this image and upload an image and it will go ahead and actually create the tables and structure of what I want that app to be based off of that image that I created. So that's really cool. We also have plenty of templates down here for you to get started. And I highly recommend that you take a look at a template if you're just getting started with Power Apps for a couple different reasons. One, I don't care how long you've been working with Power Apps, you should never be starting from scratch. That's just a waste of time, in my opinion. Um, it's all about working smarter, not harder. That's why we're leaning into the Power Platform anyways. So start with the template because it's going to be easier. Plus, they are super great for you to be able to learn. Look at a formula, highlight the way that something is working. I'm sure that you don't want that exact example, but you probably do like that functionality, right? So lean into the templates to see how those formulas are created for you. Next, we're going to move into Power Automate, which if I'm being honest, is one of my absolute favorites. So Power Automate is going to allow you to automate those business processes, anything that you're manually doing whether it be looking at one screen and data from one system and entering it into a, another system, if it is an approval process, if it's you know sending out documents, notifications, emails, you wanna do something every month, you wanna automatically grab some information whenever a business event happens, that is all prime time for Power Automate. Power Automate can connect to these different systems 
whether it be in the cloud, it can even work on-prem. There is um, Power Automate Desktop, which allows you to still automate those processes that don't have APIs. So Power Automate is really great for that. Again, you're gonna have over a thousand connectors. That means that you can connect your system to over a thousand different connectors. Once again, here in the UI, I've got this nice create. You'll see very similar to the Power Apps, I've got different options that I can create here as well. And just like Power Apps, I do have some co-pilot abilities in here as well, where I can actually describe a flow and use natural language to describe the flow that I want to create, and it will go ahead and tee up that flow for me. So that's really exciting. We also have some really, really amazing, rich templates. Again, if you are just getting started with Power Automate, the number one thing that I tell people to do is come in here and go into top picks and take a look at these. These templates, again, they're plug and play. I can just click on this and it will create this instant flow for me. I may just have to fill out some information, but this is a game changer. Power Automate is an absolute game changer and you are going to get so much time back in your day by automating those manual processes. Plus you're gonna have better results because you're gonna have less errors as well. And just like Power Apps, Power Automate is nice and secure. So if you have a user that doesn't have access to data in your system, whether it be Business Central, SQL, something to that extent, if they don't have access to it in there, they're not gonna be able to access it in, in Power Automate either. So you're gonna have that nice scalability and governance within that so you can make sure that nothing bad is going to happen to your production data. Right, our next component that we're going to take a look at here is going to be Copilot Studio. So anyone that maybe has been around for a little bit and just kind of want a power platform refresher in this video, Copilot Studio is what used to be Power Virtual Agents, but honestly, they're even better now. Inside of Copilot Studio, that's going to be your chatbot, right? That's going to be a virtual agent that interacts within your data, right? So those thousands of connectors that are within the Power Platform, you're going to be able to connect your Copilot to those as well. So you can take data from one system and input it from another. You can use Copilot Studio to be like a personal agent for you. Inside Copilot Studio here, it's really easy to get started. You can even have lessons along the way. You have topics. Basically, if you can have a conversation, you can create a Copilot Studio. What's nice about the Copilot Studio, not only does it interact with your data, but it's also going to give you that feedback loop in here under analytics after your data, after your bot has been running for a little bit, you can actually see that input is to what has been responded to and what hasn't. And you can also take this and hand um, a conversation that was being held by the chatbot off to an agent. So these are really helpful in the digital world today where we're trying to basically copy, make copies of ourselves. Sometimes we can't, but you can create a Copilot Studio and they're really easy to get started. And then also this is where if you need to create, if you want to modify one of the Copilots in, you know, Copilot Sales or one of the other Copilots, you can actually, you know, modify that Copilot here in Copilot Studio and take advantage of a lot of the plugins as well. So Copilot Studios are super helpful and I think that we're going to see a lot more use out of them. Next, we have Power Pages. So Power Pages used to actually sit in Power Apps, but a few releases ago, they got made into their own standalone component in the Power Platform. And what this is going to be doing is think about external or internal websites that you want to have data easily putting in. So think about your customer vendor, or sorry, think about your customer portals, think about your vendor portals. Those are prime areas where you want to have easy ability to be able to take your data and put it into your website. Sure, you can go into, there's a bunch of different plug and play type of website builders out there, and they're nice and pretty and they're great and they're really not that expensive, but it may be really difficult for you to get your business data into those websites. What Power Pages does is it makes it really, really easy for you to be able to plug your business data into your Power Pages. And then it does have some nice, you know, UI for updating and creating and designing your Power Pages. But you also have pro dev extensibility. So any of your pro development that you typically use for your HTML designing or web designing experience, you can actually add that in 
to your portals to make them even better. So you can take the technical side and the creative side and give yourself a really amazing, powerful um, portal for your customers and vendors or employees to use that possibilities are endless. I've referenced the connectors inside the Power Platform a few different times, but let's talk about what this really is. So connectors are just different systems. As you can see here by the icons, these are all the connectors. Any other system that has an API that you want to connect to, there are a thousand connectors on the Power Platform already. That means that there are over a thousand different API-based programs that already have their API nice and wrapped up so it's easy for you to plug and play into that. And this is great because this allows Microsoft products to integrate with other products like SAP or AWS or CSS, the ability to automate all these different processes. In a given day, you may be working with 15 or 20 different products just to get your day-to-day -day processes done. So I would always recommend taking a look on the connector website to see if it's if one of those connectors is already available because you can probably automate that task. Now, what if your connector isn't on here, but it does have an API? You can always create custom connectors in the Power Platform as well. So this means that basically anything that has an API, you can connect to. Within Microsoft Power Platform, we also have the AI Builder. In here on this screen, you can see all of the pre-built models that are already available. So to spend the time training the language models, you can go ahead and just plug and play and take all of those connectors and all of those data sources that we just looked at, whether it be, again, within your ERP system, your CRM system, anywhere inside of a connector, you can take that data and expose it to one of these AI models. You also even have the ability to create custom prompts that you Make sure you're checking out this AI Builder because it's a very important part of the Power Platform and will bring your organization to a whole new level. Last but certainly not least, we are going to finish up our Power Platform journey here with Dataverse. D Dataverse is going to be a database management system that is within the Power Platform. So if you don't have some place for your data to live already, don't worry. You can easily create a table with inside a Dataverse and not have to go get a developer to create a special table for you. It is as easy as creating a table in Excel or a Microsoft list. Plus, again, it's going to be nice and secure. You're going to have business logic in there. You're going to have relationships and to be able to have different forms and views. You're going to have so much ability that you don't have in something like a SharePoint or Excel. It's actually what your CRM sits on top of. So many people that are using a dynamic system right now are already using Dataverse. Now I say many because if you're using something like Business Central or Finance and Operations, which is considered in the dynamic space, that's a different architecture. So I do wanna call that out. But again, if you're using field service, marketing, HR, sales, pro, sales, enterprise, all of that, that's Dataverse. So when we're talking about those conversations and all of those apps and, and power automate flows, you have easy access to all of that because your data is already right there inside of Dataverse. So you go ahead and leave a comment and let me know which power platform component is your favorite.